Good morning. I'm Mark Soderberg with ADM Investor Services with your Morning Egg Outlook for Tuesday, May the 28th. I hope everyone had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend while taking time to remember those brave men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country's freedoms. Uh, agricultural prices were uh, sharply mixed overnight, uh, led initially by gains in the wheat market. We gapped higher, uh, reaching fresh highs for the recent move across all three classes. Casey led the way high However, prices are now backing up this morning here as we approach the break. Uh, still looking about eight to nine better in Kansas City and Minneapolis. Uh, Chicago right now is back up uh, still only five or six better. Corn is uh, steady to uh, one to two better, well off session highs, and the uh, soybean complex is backing up here uh, now down six to nine uh, in soybeans. Meal prices are four to five dollars lower. Still holding on to gains here on the oil up 40 to 50 points. Points. Um, <clears throat> we continue to see a dry forecasts for southern Russia and surrounding areas, eastern Ukraine and western Kazakhstan. ICAR lowered their Russian brain, uh, uh, wheat production forecast, another 2 million metric tons uh, to 81.5 million metric tons. This is down 11.5 million metric tons from their forecast only one month ago and down 7% from the current USDA estimate at 88 million metric tons. Uh, in addition, the European Grain Union also lowered their wheat production forecast nearly 3 million metric tons to 19.2 and corn was lowered 4 million metric tons to 25 and a half. Uh, both are down over 5% from the USDA forecast in May. Recent drought conditions are really starting to take its toll uh, on European wheat production uh, and prices here in the U.S. are following uh, higher prices here in Europe over the weekend, despite now forecasts for uh, good rain potential across the southern plains, including the soft southwestern Kansas by late this week. Uh, rains this past weekend in the U.S. were heaviest across the central and eastern corn belts and the northern plains. Rains were a little more scattered across the western belt. Uh, I look for crop progress this afternoon to show corn plantings near 85 percent. Uh, beans roughly two-thirds, maybe up to 70 percent complete with spring wheat plantings very close to uh, 90 percent done. I don't see any significant changes in U.S. winter wheat ratings, uh, holding pretty close to that 49 percent. Good to excellent figure from last week. I do however, suspect we'll see lower ratings in the hard red, wet, red winter wheat areas with improvements in the soft red. Uh, rains this week will favor the southern plains and western corn belt while temperatures lean uh, a little bit cooler than normal for much of the nation's midsection until we see a little bit of a warming trend into the coming weekend. At this point, I don't see a significant change away from the current acreage mix as outlined uh, by the USDA at the end of March, perhaps a touch lower on the corn depending on where delays sit here. We'll see. watch tonight's crop progress report rather closely. Starting to see rains let up across Rio Grande do Sul in southern Brazil, which will allow harvest to start to finish up uh, and better assess crop damage from the recent flooding. Brazil's second corn crop harvest is really just getting underway at about 2% done. Both money managers and index funds were light sellers in the egg space this past week. Biggest surprise was uh, heavy fund selling in the corn uh, at about 50 thousand contracts was much bigger than expected. Uh, so short across the board still in the egg space with the exception of meal where that uh, long position now is well to 101,000 contracts. Uh, so to me right now weather seems negative here in the U.S. However prices are being supported by uh, surrounding global uh, production problems uh, giving prices here a little bit of a boost. So thank you for listening everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day.